In today's video, we are talking about if you want to see Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi in the next World Cup, and we are predicting the results for the quarterfinal of the 2018 Russia World Cup. So stay tuned. And don't forget people, there is still $50 giveaway for Amazon.com for the grab. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and comment down below and you could be the next lucky winner. What is up everybody welcome back to another video and to my channel I hope you all are having an amazing day and enjoying the World Cup 2018 that's happening in Russia and always keep believing in yourself and do what you want to do if you don't want to do it don't do it today I'm very happy and very excited because my team Brazil has met to the quarterfinal that is actually very exciting considering how many setbacks already happened in this World Cup uh, with the likes of Argentina Germany the first one to go and then followed by Argentina which again they we're playing against a very good team which is France and actually they are a very much a favorite to win this World Cup and then it was again followed by Portugal who was playing against Uruguay then followed by our beloved most of you uh, love this team which Spain and I'm um, again uh, very sad for a few of you who are supporting for your favorite team in the likes of Germany Argentina Portugal Spain Mexico I'm sorry about them but I'm happy and I'm very excited because my team Brazil is in the quarterfinal though they are facing a very good team Belgium I'm still not very worried at this time because right now let me enjoy the moment and let me celebrate that Brazil has made it to quarterfinal let's talk about the round of 16 that has just been completed today so there are eight teams that is qualified for the quarterfinal let's talk about the two legends of football Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi so do you guys think if Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi if this World Cup was their last World Cup considering the age of Cristiano Ronaldo I do really fancy him uh, not playing the next World Cup which is after four years so by four another four years Cristiano Ronaldo will be old but you never know he is an alien he's not a human being so uh, with his fitness level he is at the moment and the, how hard he works so there is still a good chance for Cristiano Ronaldo to, to represent Portugal in 2022 World Cup on the other hand do you think Lionel Messi is playing the next World Cup let's talk about Lionel Messi the last World Cup when he actually missed the final penalty in the World Cup uh, against Germany he, he came he was so heartbroken that he actually announced that that was his last uh, World Cup or last match for Argentina he was not gonna play again but somehow he was back and we are all happy that he was back having said that that was like the best news any football fan can get I myself I'm not in a big fan of Argentina football but I'm a big fan of Lionel Messi I'm a football fan I'm a big fan of both Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo so that news was actually a very good news because I'm sure all of you would want to, even though you don't know you're not supporting Argentina but you still watch that match uh, just to see Lionel Messi playing because he is once in a lifetime player and you want to see him as much as possible on that field comment down below guys if you think Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi could play next World Cup now let's talk about the round of 16 games the first game as we already know it was France against Argentina both are like the top level teams both very favorites to win the World Cup but this is football only one only one team could go to the next level it was France I would love as much as to see Lionel Messi on the pitch but I, I, I believe France as a team deserve that victory more than Argentina Argentina Lionel Messi but as it says football is not an individual game this is not a boxing or a Wimbledon where you it is just a one-man show the next game was between Uruguay and Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal and as I said as I just said uh, football is not an individual game so Cristiano Ronaldo was not enough to beat uh, Uruguay who looked to be a very very determined team and to be very honest they were uh, looking much better than Portugal in that game and very well deserved win for Uruguay and the third game was again between the home team Russia against Spain Spain is another very favorite uh, team to win this World Cup but however home team did manage to uh, create a magic and history on that day Russia came up with a very good plan they they knew it was hard to beat Spain on the regular time because Spain had 
the majority of the position and they could, they even had like almost one more than thousand passes completed on that match the only way they could beat Spain was to take it to the penalty and penalty you all we all know that it is all luck Croatia and Denmark uh, to be honest I do like Croatia just because Luka Modric is there and I just like that midfielder very much so I was kind of supporting for Croatia but again that game was another fantastic game which again went to a penalty shootout and Croatia um, did manage to come up with a victory and the next game guys it was Brazil against Mexico Neymar somehow managed to score the first goal and after that it was all Brazil who was playing there and again at the 89th minute Firmino sealed the deals the next game was played between Belgium and Japan wow what a game we all know the quality Belgium has with them but Japan they were even not uh, favorites to qualify round of 16 but they all most knock out uh, Belgium they were leading 2-0 but somehow Belgium did manage to pull up and uh, steal a last second victory literally last second there was uh, four minutes added and Belgium did manage to pull up a win and the next game was played between Sweden and Switzerland and I should tell you guys I was very happy that Sweden win I'm just uh, supporting uh, Sweden just because it is the Latin Ibrahimovic team though the Latin is not playing anymore I still love Sweden just because of gelatin and I want to see gelatin happy so that's the one reason I was happy for Sweden and the last game that was played just a couple of hours ago was between Colombia and England it was again a very exciting game between Colombia and England England was playing very good at the beginning then they managed to get a penalty score the goal and but after we, we saw a completely different Colombia they were more focused they were more determined they were passing the balls they were finding the gap and they did not manage to score until the extra time on the 93rd minute they managed to score the goal and the game was tied and the game again went to the penalty shootout there was the third uh, shootout for the round of 16 on this game I was actually supporting for England the moment it, the game went to penalty I started biting my nails considering the history of losing in penalty in the World Cup but somehow the new history is created England finally managed so that wraps up the uh, round of 16 now let's talk about the top eight teams who has managed themselves to get into the World Cup quarterfinal round so everybody watching down there comment down below what's your prediction for all the four games and I will give you my prediction now the first game of quarterfinal will be played between France and Uruguay both the teams look in a very good form right now so anything can happen but my prediction will go for France and my prediction for this game will be 2-0 to France Mbappe will be scoring one of the balls and the next game is again my team Brazil and I'm I must tell you I'm very worried for this game because Brazil is playing against a very very good side Belgium but I'm still going for Brazil though this is gonna be a very tough match Brazil will pull up a very beautiful victory so my prediction for this game will be 3-1 to Brazil and Neymar will score two goals out of three the next game is between the home team Russia and Croatia so my prediction for this game, though Croatia is a very very good team, I'm going for home team in Russia. Russia is gonna pull up a victory in the extra time, 1-0. And the last game will be played between Sweden and England, though I am a big fan of Jonathan Zibrahimovic, Sweden as I just said some time back. But this game I'm going for England and England will pull up a very beautiful victory. Hurricane will come up with another goal and England will win this game 2-0. Alright people, it is time to wrap up my video today. It is getting dark here so I need to get back home and I don't have a night light in my bike. And until my next video, bye. Actually wait, don't forget people, there is still $50 giveaway for Amazon.com for the grab. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and comment down below and you could be the next lucky winner. Now, bye.